Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to organize your super tag systems. As your library of systems you've built in Tana grows, it can be a bit complicated to keep track of what belongs together, how to edit these different systems and how they interrelate if you don't develop a meta system, uh, a meta super tag system for keeping track of them and organizing them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it. It's a really simple system. Uh, it consists of one single super tag and I think you're going to get a ton out of it if you deploy it. So let's jump right in and let me show you how to set up a super tag system to organize your super tag systems. So here we are in Saitana and what you see here is all of the super tag system that we're going to need. So if I click on the super tag, you see every super tag system is organized in three different fields plus a little bit of documentation. So the description field I think speaks for itself. Super tags here is where we're going to put all the super tags that we want to use and fields is where we're going to put fields that we're going to use and reuse within this single super tag system and that aren't used in other super tag systems um, as well. And documentation is where we're going to put a couple of explainers for how to use the system and how it works and interrelates. So let's jump right into the demo and see how we can use the super tag system. Let's build a really simple task management system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a node that just says task management, and then I'm going to tag that node with super tag system. Now what that does is it applies these fields here that we have set up for that super tag system super tag. And now we can fill these out. The description is fairly easy. This is the super tag system I'm going to use for my tasks and projects. So that's the description entered here. Now, super tags, which super tags do we need? Usually a project thing and a task thing, right? So let's do this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to write project Cortex Futura OSS and task OSS. And again, ignore what's in parentheses here. This is just to keep it straight between the videos that I'm recording in this workspace. Now, these aren't super tags yet, of course. These are just normal nodes. What I can do is I can select both of these nodes, type command K, and then convert them to super tags. And that moves them to the schema node, right? If I click on this here, you see this lives in the schema node. What I want though is to have them live here. And I do that by selecting them again, typing command K and then bring reference node here. And that brings the original project and task nodes into this field. They now live here. Now let's start with the task. Every task belongs to a project. So what we're going to do is create a field that links the task to the project. And we're going to make that an instance field for project. We're going to auto initialize it and semantic field function. We're going to make part of a task is a part of a project. And if you don't have field has semantic function, that's currently part of Tana Labs. So you go up here to Tana Labs and then semantic functions for fields to activate that. Now let's give it a nice color. Um, let's make it green and let's give it a status field. And this we're going to make an option field with backlog doing dropped and done. We're also going to show the task as a checkbox and we're going to do done state mapping mapping checked, we're going to go for status and done or status dropped and mark unchecked is going to be status backlog and status doing. And we're going to set the default to backlog. 
Very nice. So the task here is done. Now on to the project tag here, we want also a status. And the default here as well is also backlog. Now the status field currently lives inside the task super tag. And as we reuse fields, that can be a bit unwieldy to figure out, okay, which fields that belong to the super tag system do I have? How do I want to um, edit them? How do I want to work with them? So what we're going to do is we're going to move that status field into the fields field of the overall super tag system. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for the field here. And then with a cursor, still in that field, I'm going to type command K again, and then again, bring reference node here. And what that means is that if I go in here and select the status field, um, you see it does not live inside the task super tag anymore, but it is moved out of that. Now project um, now has a status. And what we're also going to set up is a little search for all the tasks that belong to that project. So we're going to create a search node, we're going to look for task where the project field is set to parent, we're going to call this tasks, we're going to give it a nice color here. And we're good to go. Now, what we also want to talk about, of course, is documenting, because just having the super tags um, up here is not terribly um, clear what they do, possibly depending on how involved our system is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do command C here, and then command V here. And then if I type space, this is going to turn this into an inline reference. And now I can explain what this super tag does. And once more, we're going to do that with task as well. And now we have a simple documentation for what's going on. Um, and we have every super tag in place. And as you develop your super tag systems, you can stack these together, you can build a search that shows you all your super tag systems, um, and makes organizing and iterating on your systems much easier. I hope this was helpful. And if you want to learn more about building your own super tag systems, check out my course mastering Tana core um, that is linked below. Otherwise, like subscribe um, and click the bell. And I'll see you in the next video. That could be the video up here, where I show you one involved super tag system that you can set up in your own workspace by following along and then document it in the way that we've done here. So have fun in that video. See you there. Bye-bye.